one of my favorite subjects. Let's see who can paint the best picture of themselves. What colors shall we choose, I wonder? Can I have a pink, please? But Susie, I need to use the pink as well. Maybe we can share. Okay. <laughs> Wow, these are all so wonderful children. And who's this, George? Dinosaur! Rawr! Can we put them on the wall so everyone can see them? Of course we can. What a wonderful idea, Peppa. Okay, last one. Let's theme this activity around music. <laughs> How about we play musical statues? I'll play the music on my guitar and you all dance along. When the music stops, you all need to stop dancing and stand still. <laughs> this is going to be fun. <laughs> Silly George, you were supposed to stop dancing when the music stopped. They're not here either. They must be very good at hiding. <laughs> that was definitely Pepper and George. They must be in the upstairs bedroom. Where could they be? Boo! No! Oh, there you are. <laughs> we fooled you. <laughs> you certainly did. We thought we were never going to find you. Clearing the mud off the motorhome was a lot more work than we thought. Yes, all that work has made me hungry. I know. Maybe George and I could make you a snack before we go on a mountain adventure. That's a wonderful idea. Thank you. OK, first we need to stir the cookie mixture. I can do that. Perfect. Now we need to make one cookie for each of us. How many is that, George? One, two, three, four. That's right. One for you, one for Peppa, one for me, and one for Daddy Pig. Yum. They look delicious. Can we eat them now, please? Not yet, Peppa. First, we have to bake them. Yummy! They smell scrumptious. Why don't you take them to Daddy Pig? I'm sure he's hungry after cleaning all the mud off the motorhome. <laughs> Look, Daddy, we made cookies, one for each of us. Oh, just what I needed. Paddle! No, George! <gasps> Oh dear, now I'm all messy. <laughs> you look like a giant cookie, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, the guinea pig will get too muddy for petting at this rate. Wait, Mr. Guinea Pig, please slow down. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper, George, Rebecca, are you okay? Yes, we're okay. That cheeky little guinea pig is so cute. <laughs> he sure is. <laughs> Silly mummy, it's only chickens. I suppose they are cute, aren't they, Peppa? Okay, everybody. The animals have safely been taken somewhere else whilst we finish cleaning this mud. 
But how will we do that, Grandpa? It's everywhere! We can use this! <laughs> Great work, everyone! Thank you for your help! The animals are very happy with our work! Now, who would like to feed Mr Guinea Pig and Mrs Chicken? Me! Me. Let's put the seeds over here in this trough, Mummy Pig. Then we can feed the animals. Oh, you're all very friendly. I love the petting farm. Oh, George, would you like to serve our next customer? Yay! Hmm. Can I have strawberry, please, George? Yeah. <laughs> and now you can give the cone to the customer, George. Ice cream, ice cream! <laughs> oh. Oh, Pedro, I'm sorry. George loves ice cream too much to be an ice cream seller. Hey, I have an idea, Pedro. Oh, my goodness. What an excellent idea, Pepper. This will test all of our ice cream making skills. Pedro, hold on one moment, please. OK, Pepper. as tall as the ferris wheel. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Phew. I can't believe it. A twenty scoop ice cream. I don't think I'm ever going to be able to finish this. Ice cream, ice cream. Don't worry, Pedro. I know somebody who would be very happy to help. <laughs> <laughs> Detective Pepper and Detective George search the kitchen for the lost keys. Were the keys under the table, George? No, maybe they're in the fruit bowl. Oops! <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, I can't see the keys anywhere. Hmm, maybe we could pretend it's the morning again and see where you went. That's a great idea, Peppa. Now let me think. First, I sat at the table and ate my breakfast. After that, I went over to the sink and did the washing up. Maybe Mummy found them in the luggage. We should go and check. Did you find anything? No, I'm afraid not. Did you? No, not yet. But I think we're getting close with Detective Pepper and Detective George's help. We checked every room in the house, but we couldn't find Daddy's keys anywhere. Suddenly, Detective Pepper notices something shiny poking out of one of Daddy Pig's pockets. Daddy, what's that in your pocket? My keys! They were in my pocket the whole time! Well done, detectives! We would never have found them without your help! Hooray! Does this mean we can go on our summer holiday adventure for real this time? Absolutely! Let's go! Once upon a time, there was a very magical pool. The magical pool was watched over by a princess pig who would sing to the water to keep its magic glowing. La 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 Um, Mummy, could the princess pig be giant? <laughs> I... <clears throat> yes, Peppa, of course, why not? 
the giant princess pig kept singing her magical songs to the water. But then something happened. The water disappeared. Oh no, that's not a nice story. Don't worry, Pepper. It's not finished yet. The princess tried to bring the water back with her singing, but her magic powers didn't work in this way. <sighs> the princess had to find water from somewhere. But where will she find water from, Mummy? I don't know, Peppa. There's lots of water here. If only we could give the princess some. But how could we do that, Mummy? It would be difficult. But if someone could make a big splash, that might be enough to reach the princess. Oh, I can do it. I can make a big splash. Are you sure, Peppa? Yes, I'll make the biggest splash ever and help the princess. Ooh, it's very high. You can do it, Peppa. Yay, Peppa. Three, two, one. Oh no, he doesn't like the rain. Hmm, it looks like you're right, Pepper. Yeah! <laughs> oh my, it was lucky I was wearing my raincoat, wasn't it? Ho oh, ho, I have an idea. Come on, Pepper. I need your help getting things from the car. What are we doing, Daddy? Well, Peppa. Oh, that's a great idea, Daddy. <laughs> oh dear, I think the rain is getting heavier. The animals won't be happy. Don't worry, little animals. You will all be dry in no time. Oh, that's better, I think. Oh, yes. <laughs> what do you think, Mr. Guinea Pig? And how about you, little chicks? <laughs> It looks like all that jumping in puddles made George and the chickens very sleepy. Ho <laughs> 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 oh, So who enjoyed the petting farm then? I did, I did. Even though it was a bit wet. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see a balloon anywhere. Balloon! George, maybe if you swung on the swing it would free the balloon. a fantastic job finding the balloons. You should all be very proud. But it was so much fun. We got to see all the attractions in the balloon park. Ooh, what's this attraction? This is the balloon ride. Now that we found all the balloons, it's time for the real balloon bonanza to start. Ha, 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 ha.
<laughs> well spotted, George. That's a shooting star. Make a wish. Some of the stars make shapes, like those ones. They look like, well, they look like me. You're right, Peppa. A group of stars that make a shape is called a constellation. Who would like to see the constellations in the sky more clearly? Yes! So you set it up as so <laughs> and peek through this part at the sky. <laughs> ah! Oh my! What is it? <laughs> Silly Daddy, it's only a tiny little spider. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, what do you think George wished for earlier when the shooting star passed by? <laughs> what was that? Hmm. I think I know what George wished for now. <laughs> Die. So. <laughs> it looks like they're going to need a little bit of help. George, you wait for us here while we clean the muddy footprints around the house. <coughs> now, we just need to clean the bedroom and we will be all done. <gasps> oh no! What's going on in here? Oh! We're sorry, Mummy. We forgot to take our shoes off like you said and try to clean all the footprints. But George decided to clean in his own way. It's okay, Peppa. This is a good opportunity to learn some cleaning techniques. Let's do this together. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> well done, team. There's a little surprise waiting for you in the kitchen. <laughs> you did a really good job cleaning in the kitchen, Mummy. <laughs> cleaning is easy with the right tools. <laughs> Whoa. <Ooh>. Yippee. <laughs> Amazing work, everyone. Thank you. But, Grandpa, there's still that big pile of mud. We still have time to clean it up, don't we, Mr Pig? Ho, ho, we should do, as long as the animal... <gasps> as long as the animals don't come back just yet. The guinea pig will get too muddy for petting at this rate. Wait, Mr. Guinea Pig, please slow down. <laughs> Peppa, 
Papa, George, Rebecca, are you okay? Yes, we're okay. That cheeky little guinea pig is so cute. <laughs> he sure is. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> Silly mummy, it's only chickens. I suppose they are cute, aren't they, Peppa? This smells yummy, Mummy Pig. Thank you. It's so hot today, it feels like we've all been on the barbecue too, Daddy Pig. Oh, don't worry. I have just the thing to help cool us down. Fancy's cooling down in the paddling pool. Me! <laughs> this is so yummy! Ho oh, ho! It certainly is hot! <gasps> Daddy Pig, look at you! You're bright red! Why do crabs bury themselves under the sand? I imagine it's to keep out of the hot sun, Peppa. Mm. Ah! That's it! Ooh! <laughs> Ooh! Uh, be careful! Oh my, it is rather cool down here. There you go, Daddy. That will keep you cool until we go home. <laughs> Good work, Pepper and George. I'm very proud of you. What? And with a... The plane lands on the runway. Daddy Pig has another surprise for the family. Ta-da! He cries out. A camper van! The family are going on a camping holiday. They climb inside and off they go. On the road and off to adventure. Daddy Pig spots a nice clearing that will be perfect for a campsite. He pulls the camper van over into the clearing and begins to set up camp. Mummy Pig starts the barbecue. Daddy Pig pulls out the benches and Pepper and George get on their bicycles and go for a ride in the forest. <laughs> Mummy Pig calls everyone for dinner and the family settle down to eat. As the day turns into night, Daddy Pig suggests that it's time for bed. But where are Pepper and George? They're bouncing up and down on the bed. But Daddy Pig tells him that's not where they're sleeping. He tells Pepper and George to follow him. A tent! Daddy Pig put up a tent for Pepper and George to sleep in. How exciting! The two wriggle into their tent and snuggle down into their sleeping bags for a well. The children see the ambulance arrive and rush over to Pepper and Dr. Brown Bear. Everyone had been playing at the park. George had been playing in the sandpit. Candy Cat had been enjoying the slide. Susie Sheep had been feeding the ducks. Emily Elephant and Danny Dog had been swinging on the swings when Danny fell off and hurt himself. Oh dear, says Dr. Brown Bear, we'd best give you an x-ray. In a moment, the ambulance falls out into the medical centre. 
Nurse Pepper helps Dr. Brown Bear take Danny to the x-ray machine. Danny lies on a bed and Dr. Brown Bear starts the machine. Danny looks worried, but Pepper calms him down. The children wait to see if Danny is okay. Rebecca Rabbit measures Gerald. He's very tall. <laughs> Dr. Brown Bear checks Danny's x-ray. Good news! You're going to be just fine! <laughs> What's that sound? It's Police Officer Panda in his police car coming to see if everyone's okay. Everything is under control, Dr. Brown Bear tells him. Perhaps an ice cream will make everyone feel better. The children rush to Miss Rabbit in the ice cream van. Come on, Pepper and George, time to go home, calls Mummy Pig. Peppa arrives home and she and George give Daddy Pig a big hug. After a bath, it's time to get into pyjamas and climb into bed. What an exciting day! We'll take a large bag of chocolate chip cookies please, says Mummy Pig. Party food, cookies, present... Ah! We need to get a cake, says Mummy Pig. Mummy Pig spots the cake shop. Ah, birthday cake, we can get it here. Behind the counter is... Miss Rabbit! Oh, hello Mummy Pig, what can I get you? Hello again! We're after a nice big birthday cake, says Mummy Pig. Here you go. Thank you, replies Mummy Pig. Hmm... I just know I'm forgetting something, says Mummy Pig. Balloons and streamers, Mummy, says Pepper. You're right! We can't have a party without balloons! Ah, here we go! Miss Rabbit! Do you work at all the shops here? asks Mummy Pig. Well, I like balloons. Who doesn't like balloons? replies Miss Rabbit. I love balloons! Come on, now we've got everything, we need to start preparing for the party, says Mummy Pig. Daddy Pig arrives at the shopping centre with George. Attention everyone, George is here for his party, announces Pepper. George's friends and his family get ready to surprise him. Surprise! Happy birthday, George! Everyone cheers, what a surprise! George opens his present and loves his new toy. Everyone enjoys a piece of cake and lots of party food. Even Miss Rabbit brings round some ice cream for everyone. I think George liked his surprise, don't you?